Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I install this hair 13 by 4 lace body wave wig. As you can see, it is so gorgeous. This is 24 inches. Now, y'all, if you know me or if this is your first time to my channel, hey boo, by the way, <laughs> I do not, okay, do wig installs well. Like, I look at TikTok videos, I look at YouTube videos, and I just still can't get it. But I think that I did pretty okay this time. So anyway, I just wanted to give that disclaimer that I'm not the best with installs, so keep that in mind. So if you are also a beginner, girl, this video is for you. But Nadula is having their Black Friday sale. Black Friday deals are here. You're going to want to go ahead and get your hands on it. ASAP girl, okay? So yes, click the description down below and thank you to Nadula for sponsoring this video. If you are new here, hey girl, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the fam, I would love to have you. If you are returning, hey boo, welcome back. It's good to see you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. All right, girls, so here I'm showing you the packaging as well as what comes inside. Obviously, you get your unit, but you also get some nice little goodies here whenever you purchase your unit. And then I'm also just showing you the hair texture, what it looks like before I wash it. I did wash and blow dry this hair, so in the next scene, you're going to see um, it fully blow dried out. So here I'm just showing you the construction of the wig. You're going to get your combs on each side as well as the back and then also the adjustable band so you can make it fit your head. Now moving on to styling the wig, I'm just trying to get a good placement of where I want the wig to uh, be on my head. I'm going to cut the ear tabs off. Now I'm not going to lie, usually these wigs do not fit <laughs> my head. Um, I think it's because I have like a, a lot of sideburns and I refuse to cut my sideburns. And then I'm just going to be taking some mousse to just smooth the flyaways down um, because I am going to be taking some spray to glue it to my head and I don't want those flyaways in the glue. And I am going to be taking a hot comb to just kind of smooth everything in. If you see hair coming out, that's because I did try and pluck a little bit. Plucking is not in my area. I won't lie about that. The next thing I'm going to be using is the Got To Be Free spray. I find that this is easy, you know what I mean? Like for me, I cannot use the glue. I can't use bowl hold. I can't use any of the glues um, that you have to dab and let dry. Like I feel that the Got To Be spray is just the best for me. I see that other people use different sprays, um, so I'm willing to try that, but this one is definitely easy for me. So while I spray, I'm literally just going to let that blow dry and I'm just going to work in sections. Like most people put elastic bands, but I don't have an elastic band. So I just found this little kind of like, I think it was like a wrap scarf like thing type of deal. And I just made something work with it. <laughs> and this is going to like ensure that your wig is like nice and laid down. You know what I mean? For the girls. And I'm also going to use a blow dry just to kind of seal everything in. All right, next thing I'm going to do is just style the wig. So I'm just combing it out. I'm just going to put some curls in here. Um, this is a flat iron that I got from Ulta. It's called Hot Tools. I believe I will have it listed in the description box. I'm just putting some very light curls in here. Nothing too serious. I'm probably leaving the iron on for maybe like 10 seconds, if that.
All right, this is my favorite part. When you take it all, baby, look at that. Look at that, it's already melted in the skin. It looks really, really good. Now, I definitely know that I need to pluck and I'm gonna do a little bit, but not too much. Cause like I said, that's not my area, okay? So I'm just gonna cut everything off, cut the lace off. I'm gonna try and get it as close to the hairline as possible. And then I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol just to rub it because it will leave like a white kind of light residue there so i'm just going to take some alcohol to rub it to get rid of that and then i'm going to then go in which i learned that this is a trick as well with the got to be uh free spray again and it's going to kind of make it melt into your skin so you won't see that line anymore i do recommend not having makeup on it makes it just a little bit easier And now I'm just taking some concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm just going to really define my part. I did pluck a little bit along the hairline, but not too much. I really wanted to do baby hairs, but girl, again, I cannot. So I decided to just to let it be free. I personally love it. I think it came out great, especially since I'm a beginner. so that completes this video i do hope that you enjoyed it again go easy on me i'm not the best but hey give it up to me because i really did a good job like with this install compared to my previous installs i feel like again everything is listed in description box below so make sure you check Nadula out for black friday do not wait until black friday you can go ahead and start saving now yes girl thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video